Hello, everyone. Um, we want to welcome you to the class of 2023 Diagnostic Medical Sonography Pinning Ceremony. We are so grateful for all of you to make the effort to come tonight and celebrate with us. We have waited for this accomplishment for a very, very long time. <laughs> um, each of us have dedicated around 3,000 didactic and clinical hours to this program, learning anything and everything about ultrasound, which is a lot. So <laughs> I'm so unbelievably proud of each and every one of my classmates. We have grown so close to one another. We have built such good friendships, more like sistership, and that's not really a word, but um, we've just gotten so close. We had to scan each other every day, all day, for a year, so it makes sense. So I am so excited to announce that every girl here is now a diagnostic medical sonographer, and we welcome you to our pinning ceremony. Leah is now going to lead us in a prayer. All right, let's pray. Jesus, thank you for bringing us here today to celebrate the 13 of us as we um, accomplish such a big thing that is so important to us. Lord, thank you for um, our teachers and our professors and just putting them in our path to, um, Lord, just give us all the knowledge and everything that we needed to get through this hard program. Uh, thank you for letting us all get home, get here safely. Let us all get home safely and celebrate together. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. And now we're going to have a slideshow created by Jenna Rupert. Hi, I'm Jenna. I created a short slideshow.
And I'll like to bring Miss Skipper back up here. Hi, good evening. I'm Janice Skipper. I'm sure you've all heard about me one way or the other. <laughs> this is Miss Vicki Bynum. She's our assistant coordinator. Miss Samantha Wheelock, our sonography adjunct. So thank you all for coming to celebrate the outstanding achievements of these girls. I'm sure on occasion they wondered if they were going to make it or not. But they all have dedication, compassion, and the will and want to to make it through this program. I'm very proud of all of you. Um, thank you all for being here. I'm sure that your love and support through this program helped them be successful. I've enjoyed teaching them and watching them grow into the professionals that you see before you today. Um, also, I'd like to thank you guys for helping me grow, because you have. Um, I applaud. I already said that. Sorry. Thank you again to all the family and friends that supported them through this. I would like to remind you all of the difference that you're going to make in your patients' lives. It will be profound and far-reaching further than you think even right now. I wish, hope, and pray that each of you get the best job at the best place with the best coworkers so that you get the best experience when you get out there. So welcome to the profession. Sonographers. <laughs> I would like to invite Mrs. Wheelock up here now. Good afternoon. <laughs> All right, now we are going to present the pens and the certificates for the completion of the sonography program. So ladies, as I call your name, please come up and receive your pen, which they have placed on these very pretty stoles and your certificates. All right, first, we're gonna go in alphabetical order. And family, if you would like to come down and get a picture, we will stop for a few seconds and allow that as well. Michaela Banks. Camille Davis. Mickey Goff. McKenna Graham. Destiny Hunter. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mallory McDaniel. Amberly Mosley. Quasha Peterson. Leah Rowland. Jenna Rupert. Kara Spaney. Katie Waters. Marie Jurgen. I just want to say congratulations to the class of 2023. Let's give them one more round of applause. All right, 
we are going to move on to the presentation of awards. I'm going to ask Ms. Skipper to come back up to present the first award. These first awards are for the Lambda Nu Alpha Xi Florida chapter. Lambda Nu is a national honor society for the radiologic and medical imaging sciences. Lambda Nu's name represents the physics of the inverse relationship between wavelength and frequency, which also happens to describe one of the most fundamental teachings of ultrasound. It's one of the first things they learned. <laughs> Lambda Nu uses the uppercase Greek character Lambda and Nu to represent the in or delicate balance between the art and science inherent in medical imaging. This balance between art and science is especially relevant to ultrasound. No other medical imaging modality requires the artist's eye and discernment as much as diagnostic medical sonography. Lambda News colors are maroon for the radiologic and imaging sciences, green for the health profession, and gold the ancient color of honor. It's my honor to bestow Lambda New Honor Chords to Camille Davis. Destiny Hunter. <laughs> Amberly Mosley. Jenna Rupert. Kara Spani. Congratulations to you all. <clears throat> in addition, one of our students was accepted into Phi Theta Kappa National Honor Society back in 2019. <clears throat> Phi Theta Kappa recognizes students' academic achievements, gives them opportunities to develop professional le and leadership skills, and explore career paths. Please congratulate LaQuasia Peterson for this honor. I'd like to invite Ms. Wheelock back to the podium. Okay. 
So like Miss um, Skipper said, my name is Samantha Wheelock. I'm one of the adjuncts here at Gulf Coast State College. Um, I want to thank all of you to be here to celebrate these students. Um, as a previous graduate, I know how much support a family and friends can be, and it just means the world to these ladies to have you guys here today. Before I continue with the next award, I would just like to say a few words. I got my emotional stuff out this morning with them, so hopefully I don't start crying again. <laughs> they know I'm emotional. Um, I would like to say to these 13 wonderfully talented ladies, um, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to teach you over the last two years. Whether it was in the lab, the classroom, or the clinical setting, you ladies will always hold a special place in my heart. This is the first class I've been able to teach from the first day to their last day. So I've been with them for two years, um, and it's been an amazing two years. We've all had some ups and downs, me as well as them. <laughs> they have helped me through some times, and I have hopefully helped them through some times. Um, as we all move on to future endeavors, I know you ladies will shine an extra bright light in the sonography field. I'm incredibly proud of each of you and how far you have grown, not only in ultrasound, but watching you grow in life as well. It was such a pleasure to teach you all, but you all have also taught me a few things along the way. I hope one day when you're scanning a patient that you will think of some of the tips and tricks that I have taught you and maybe smile or even laugh. I've truly enjoyed my time with you all. Thank you again. And now back to the award. Um, the award I'll be presenting is the Academic Achievement Award. This person has maintained the highest GPA during the sonography program. Again, as a previous graduate, I know how rigorous the coursework is in this program. I know how much hard work and perseverance this person has put into the program. Endless hours of studying, researching, probably watching a few YouTube videos, and I'm sure a few tears along the way. This, this has led this young woman to receive this award. It is my honor to present the Academic Achievement Award to Jenna Rupert. Please welcome Ms. Vicki Bynum to present the next award. Thank y'all so much for being here. I think that this class probably has had the most active crowd participation I have seen over the past 18 years. So thank y'all very much for all the encouragement that you've given these young ladies. I talk a lot, and I'm going to try not to do that tonight. Um, there are so many wonderful things you can say about the young ladies up here. Uh, I am honored to present the excellence, the Clinical Excellence Award. It's based on successfully completing competencies that are required by the ARRT and also by our program. So they have 16 mandatory procedures that they have to accomplish, and they also have 11 electives that they have to accomplish for ARRT. Then for our program, they're required to do biopsy, thoracentesis, other procedures out at the clinic. All of them have done so well, and I can't say enough about them. But back to the award. It's also based on uh, professionalism and the evaluations that we have gotten from the clinical sites. And I'm going to hush at that point and tell you all who the wonderful person is who's getting the Clinical Excellence Award, Camille Davis.
would like to add one more award this year for outstanding leadership. This student has shown dedication not only in our program personally over the last two years, but wherever she's at, she exemplifies leadership. I'd like to present the leadership award to Marie Jurgen. she's there. I think that many of her leadership skills are directly related to her military service. So in honor, yeah. In honor of her service to the military, we'd like to present her with the red, white, and blue cords. Over the last two years, there have been many people who deserve our thanks for all the support and love they have provided us. This program was very challenging in more ways than one, and we couldn't have done it without the help of some very specific people. First, we need to thank our classroom instructors. Ms. Wheelock, you started your formal instructor journey with us on day one, and we are so glad that you did. Having a classroom instructor who was also a clinical instructor was a tremendous help to all of us. You not only provided clinical experience in the classroom, but you were also a familiar face for us when we started our clinical experience. For those of us staying in town, we look forward to the opportunity of working with you in the future. So thank you. Ms. Bynum, you have been talking about retiring for years now, but we are so grateful that you haven't yet. Whether it was because you couldn't bear not seeing us graduate, or it was because you just love ultrasound that much, we are so glad that you saw us through the finish line. Even if we weren't always the biggest fans of your testing methods, we know you did it for good reason. We hope you get to take your well-deserved retirement soon so that you can take all those trips you've been talking about. Thank you. And Ms. Skipper, your love of teaching was evident from day one. The enthusiasm you bring to the classroom is contagious and made learning that much more exciting. Thank you for guiding us along our journey and doing everything you could to make us not just okay sonographers, but great sonographers. We know that your love of ultrasound will continue to make great sonographers from this program. Thank you. We would also like to give special thanks to Ms. Harrington, Ms. Thompson, and Ms. Hinton, who stepped in throughout our time to fill in where needed. Your experience and advice were very appreciated, and we are grateful for, our, for all of your kindness and time. Next, we would like to thank all of the clinical sites and the wonderful sonographers with whom we had the opportunity to work. For those who aren't familiar with the role of the clinical sites and instructors, over the last year, we were able to work with sonographers at sites locally and out of town where we had the opportunity to scan actual patients and be part of the diagnosis process. Each site provided us with a unique perspective and opportunity to learn with real patients. We could not have asked for a better way to learn what it truly means to be a sonographer. We appreciate all of the time you took to, che to teach us everything you could about working with patients and what it means to be part of a team. For the sonographers in the audience who were able to make it today, thank you. We know how precious your time off is and we appreciate you for spending that with us. Last but certainly not least, 
We need to thank our friends and family. None of us could have made it through without the love and support of those closest to us. Our friends and family were there for all the frustrations, tears, and triumphs. You helped us study. You were some of our first real patients. And you were our loudest cheerleaders. We are so grateful for your unfailing belief that each and every one of us would make it to this day. And we are so happy that you could celebrate with us today. Thank you all for being here to celebrate this tremendous accomplishment with all of us. Your presence means a great deal to us, and we hope you enjoyed it. We hope you have a wonderful night and a lovely holiday season. And if you didn't get a cookie on your way in, please grab one on your way out. <laughs> Thank you.